to take notes. I'm going to turn this note from Notebook LM into a captivating graphic in just a few clicks. Watch how easy this is. I just click on this little icon. I open up Napkin AI, paste it in, scroll over, click this little icon, and bam, we have this graphic. We have a bunch of different graphics we can choose from here. We can adjust the style, the colors. Okay, so I'm going to help you guys out. Those of you who uh, have something else to do, I'm going to summarize everything in a just a second, but I want you to see what he's about to show you next. The font, etc. If you're looking to clearly communicate the insights you come up with inside of Notebook LM, there's no better way to do that than visually, and there's no better tool to do that than Napkin AI. They're not a sponsor of this video, I'm just a huge fan of this product. And today I want to share with you a bunch of different ways that you can use Notebook LM along with Napkin AI to clearly visualize and clearly communicate complex ideas. Let me give you a heads up, okay? So I have five different key points. Main takeaways from this video, if you guys are trying to uh, leverage Notebook LM, plus what he's gonna show you next, if you wanna get the most out of these tools, guys, you're gonna have to write down these notes. So the first one is Napkin AI. Okay, so from the five major key takeaways, all right, effortless graphic creation. Using tools like Notebook LM and Napkin AI, you can quickly turn complex ideas into compelling visuals, okay? So this will help you guys if you have a marketing agency or you do presentations or if you're just trying to like, you know, learn easier, okay? So, and it'll just take a couple clicks, all right? Also, this is ideal for uh, communication and presentations, like I said. Ideas, but it can also be really useful in your personal life for event planning, goal tracking, and a lot more. A picture is really worth a thousand words, and if you can get someone to immediately understand the complex ideas you're generating in Notebook LM, you can get into alignment much faster and achieve a lot more. Let's go. All right, if you're new to Notebook LM, I've created a bunch of other videos walking you through it, but basically you just go to notebooklm.google. Uh, you've got to jump through some hoops maybe on your <laughs> admin section to get set up. Here are all your sources. You can add all kinds of sources. You can upload files, pull things from your drive, different links. In case you guys are wondering the level of difficulty of using this uh, Google uh, Notebook LM, um, is if you've been able to drag files into ChatGPT before, if you've ever uh, created a custom GPT, it's similar to that. Like, you know, you can add files uh, audio clips, all different types of stuff to it to program it, okay, so that it can learn, all right? And copy and paste text in. So this is where you add your sources, and then on this side, these are all the different notes and things that you create with the chat. This notebook guide is super helpful, and you can generate your uh, podcasts here. I go into that in depth in my last video. I'll link to that now. This first use case, I want to show you how to use Notebook LM along with Napkin to create some really cool visuals for a uh, sales proposal. So in this source is a long transcript of a call between a sales. So this part right here is extremely valuable. Make sure you're paying attention. Don't leave off yet because if you do sales, all right, <laughs> This is a golden nugget. As you can see, this is my first time watching this. I had to come back and show y'all this video that I found, okay? Because if you do sales, this is about to be a game changer. Rep and a prospective customer <laughs> going back and forth about a potential project. So I still believe the easiest way to transcribe calls is just right inside of Zoom. You can set it up to automatically record and automatically transcribe. You want that full transcription, not that. a summary. I've had a lot of problems with different summarizers. Just grab that transcript, drop it into uh, Notebook LM. And now we're going to focus it just on this source by clicking this checkbox is going to say can you take the info from this call and give me everything I need to create a detailed sales proposal and it has taken all of that and pulled everything we need in for a detailed sales proposal I'm gonna click this and all right see this is what I'm talking about look it it says maintenance package uh, uh, was that five thousand dollars per year all right it's pretty much breaking down everything that you would talk about in a sales call, but he's uh, this is gonna be able to create visuals for that. That's freaking like crazy, right? You can also use this for your homepage. If you have an agency website, 
You can like use this as your homepage video or a, a video uh, sales ladder if you want to. So there's a lot of use cases for this. And copy it <coughs> right into Napkin AI. This is what it looks like when you jump in here. And don't be fooled by this small text box. You can put everything from that whole response right in here. Click enter and it is gonna clean all that up, flesh it out a little bit, and we will be able to start generating some uh, images here very soon. So you can see as I'm <coughs> scrolling over, this little lightning bolt is jumping up everywhere. Let's hover over this, click this little electric uh, lightning bolt, and see what it comes up with for these key milestones. We've got all these dates here. It's gonna give us a bunch of different options for how we want to view this. I like this one because it has those dates intact, but you can see there are all different ways to format this. Um, some are going to make a lot more sense than others. That little, you know, potential Gantt chart type thing is interesting. But I think for this one, I like this style because it has the dates and it has exactly what uh, is happening on each date. And from there, it pulls you into different styles, uh, different ways of looking at that. Let's see, this one's pretty cool here. I'm gonna select that. And then you can get even more granular, diving in here, picking out, maybe you don't like that icon, it's got some other options. Super cool, so, all right, let me give you a couple more key, way, uh, key points. All right, so versatile use cases, all right, notebook, LM, and napkin AI can be applied in various professional contexts, such as creating sales proposals, which we're talking about right now. Uh, project timelines and team onboarding plans okay so if you have an agency guys this is gonna be like crazy for you okay like I said they're also useful for personal uh, tasks such as event planning and goal tracking now number three visual communication power visual aids like graphs and charts enhance understanding and retention of complex information these visuals are uh, especially effective in aligning teams and conveying key insights to clients all right i'll come back with the rest in a minute options for you um you can adjust all of the dates the colors there's a ton you can do here you can add a piece in, you can start to drag and drop things around and, and make these, um, you know, exactly how you want them. So that's a pretty cool graphic that outlines exactly what's going to happen when it's going to happen into your sales deck. Let's look at this. These are the. So if you guys know anything about crypto, um, they come with like a white paper and a road map, basically to outline the whole goal and timeline of when it should pop off just a guesstimation, you know, hope. Like, so they'll have these events or different features that they're gonna release on specific dates in the future. And anybody that invests in the crypto coin token or whatever you wanna call it, they can follow along and, you know, follow the journey and stay engaged and hopefully keep supporting and all of that extra stuff. So basically he's saying, if you give this to a client that you're trying to sell, <clears throat> All right, I have a formula. I tell people that uh, money is instant when the offer meets clarity in the client's or the potential client's mind, okay? Money is instant. All of that, okay, I gotta talk to my wife or talk to my friend or sleep on it or think on it and stuff like that. If you have a qualified lead, okay? If you have a lead that's like actually serious. I ain't talking about people that are just flooding through YouTube and just watching this and watching that. I'm talking about somebody that actually needs some work done. If you have a qualified lead, then the most, uh, <clears throat> you'll get the faster sales when you can provide the most clarity. And when I say clarity, I'm not telling you to start becoming some damn professional educator and talking about how it works and all the features, ins and outs, and hey, you know, I had a dream and this is how I came up with the business. No, they don't care about that. He is talking about exactly what they care about. Stuff like um, what's gonna happen, like how it's gonna benefit them, you know, like how things are gonna change for them, like the transformation. If you can like fully bring clarity, like a visual clarity, <coughs> um uh for their transformation then that's awesome so that could be <clears throat> if you said that you're going to get them 
a million dollars by the end of the year. Okay. So you like how that will look is, okay, let's say what's today. This is, um, October. Okay. January, you're going to make around $80,000. Okay. Uh, because we're going to be doing this and doing that. And that's going to cause this to happen. Okay. And then by March, since we did those other two things, it's going to kick in. You're going to start to feel this. You're going to start to notice that, and you're going to like that. So then a couple months after that, you're going to feel this, feel that, and this is what's going to be happening, and this is going to be what your new life looks like. That timeline plus what they're going to experience, because people don't like to buy products or services. They like to buy an experience. This is why tourism makes so much money, because people are buying an experience. That's why the travel industry does what it does. Experience. That's why food does what it does. It's an experience. That's why porn does what it does, because you're <laughs> experiencing a feeling, right? Okay, so when you can create an experience for the potential client, like what they're going to be feeling, what their, what his life is going to be like. And, and the problem is you can explain all of that, but they're also thinking in their, their mind, okay, but how long is this going to take? How long is this going to take? That all sounds good, but how long do I have to wait for all of that? People are impatient. So if you have clear dates, even if you're going to be a little bit off, you know, it still gives them a, a visual like, damn, I'm only six months away from everything being better for me. So Google, uh, uh, you know, Notebook LM and Napkin AI can help create that for you, which is awesome. Phases and timelines. So just to give a feel for how long each phase is going to take, it'd be cool to have a little bar graph here so people can clearly see how long each phase is going to take. Seeing this stuff visually is really, really helpful so that prospective client can start to think, okay, this is, you know, this is the part that's going to take the longest. Obviously, they can read that, but it doesn't sink in like visual uh, representations do. So now what do we do with this? We want to create a deck. I like to use Canva, but a lot of people use uh, PowerPoint or uh, the Google Slides. So I'm hopping into Canva here, create a design. I'm going to be creating a presentation right there. I'm going to grab this um, template here and it's got all sorts of different slides. Here's our project timeline slide. I'm going to grab all of this. I'm going to hit this little download button. PNG is good. Dark mode is good because I'm on a dark background. Turning the background off, turning the resolution up, just copying this to the clipboard and dropping this right in. Boom. There you have it. Yeah, Adjust it blood, so man. it looks good. And now I'm grabbing this. Same thing. I'm going to copy and paste this in as well. And just like that, we've created some image heavy uh, slides and you can go down just like this. These are all basically broken out into perfect little slides. Yeah, Here's like another this. one. If we want to do budget, you can get a feel for how the costs break down. So with just a couple prompts and a couple clicks, we've translated that conversation into slides with awesome graphics. All right, so let's say that that project closes. Now, the next use case I want to go through is this project planning phase. So this is... All right, so since I have experience with agencies, uh, that model and getting clients and stuff, that's the main part that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, you can find his channel, uh, it's called Blazing Zebra, if you want to go and watch the rest of the full thing. But let me give you the last couple takeaways from this video. So just in case of those of you who do, don't want to watch the entire video. Okay, so we got communication. We talked about versatile use cases and effortless graphic creation. Now, seamless workflow integration. You can integrate these tools into your favorite platforms like Canva, as you just saw a second ago, PowerPoint and Google Slides to create a polished image heavy presentation quickly and effectively. Now that can get you some awesome clients if you're trying to get clients, okay? Practical AI applications, okay? This video emphasizes actionable AI use cases that save time and improve efficiency in everyday business operations from transcribing meetings to building comprehensive processes. So this is cold, man. Like I had to uh, bring this video to you guys just in case you didn't see it. 
Uh, I hope you guys learned something. If you do get clients and all of that extra stuff like that, then apply what you learn here. Like AI is starting to uh, bring some good use cases for it. This instead of it just being ooh ah some cool stuff, is is some things that we can actually use now. So that's awesome, right?